Hi guys, um, I'm back. I've got another little haul for you today, this evening. Um, firstly, apologies for the lightning. It is quite late. It's actually nearly half nine at night, but it's still light. So I've had a late night at work, but I thought, got home, I thought, mm, what can I do? Oh, I've bought some products. I'll do a haul. Um, yes, my hair is now brown. I don't know how well... You can tell in this light and it's just been chucked up in a donut for work. Um, oh, but I will be doing a video for that later and I think I'll chuck in some hair treatments what I'm using and stuff. But anyways, um, I'll do beauty products first. Um, I'll start off with this one. Um, this is the Bondi Bondi Sands. It's from it's a brand from Australia, but they've brought it, they've got, brought it over here. Um, it's the Everyday Gradual Tanning Milk Body Moisturiser. It's in a big blue bottle. Um, I've got the mousse as well, but that's way in the and I can't bother to get it. Um, this is only seven pound ninety nine, and for the size of the bottle, it's quite big. So I thought. Because the mousse is nice, but obviously to lead, last you over the week, maybe, or to make it last longer, you could put this on. So, yep, I bought that. That was from Superdrug. They've got sprays and other things as well. Like I say, I've got the mousse and that's good. So, I definitely, well, I'm hoping this is good. It smells really nice as well. It doesn't stink like other false tans can. It smells like, when well, I can open it, like coconuts and... Just, it's got like a holiday smell, you know, it smells, it smells like a holiday, it smells like that basically. And then another thing I've got is um, the Parber's Cocoa Butter Formula Massage Lotion for stretch marks. Obviously it's, for, well, it's more so for people who are pregnant. But um, I've got a couple of stretch marks off when I grew because I went through this phase of growing really quickly and I had... I was in pain, I had growing pains, um, went to the doctors and everything about it. He said, oh, there's nothing we can do, it's just part of your body growing. And a side effect of that was getting a few stretch marks. Um, and I've never thought of trying this until me, two of the girls at work, one of them's pregnant and she's putting this on. And then the other one, she isn't pregnant, but she used this for when her stretch marks went white. And she said, it, it, they've gone now, so I'm going to I'm gonna give it a go. Can't harm you to have a go. It's still just lotion at the end of the day. Plus, Palmer's is really good and smells really nice. So I thought I'd throw that in there. Um, on the staying with body stuff, I was looking for a new um, exfoliator for when I scrub me tan and me dead skin off. And I love the Sutton Glory one, the tub one, but I hate the fact that it's in a tub. And, like, when I get my nails done, you're digging in and you're getting half the stuff, stuff up your nails. Which is not very nice to feel. So I spotted this one whilst I was picking up the Tannin Bondi Sands one today. I'm just going to take the lid off because I don't actually know what it sounds like. It's got one of those little seal things on it. One of those. Oh. Oh, it smells really nice. It's pink. Let's see. So yes, this is the... Uh, this is quite another new brand. It's Coca... 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 But Coca Brown by Marissa Carter. And I've tried her tan before. Um, the, it's really nice, but it's got a really strong green pigment in it. And if it doesn't go right, you can look green, basically. Like, I put it on, and my neck looked green. And, like, my arms inside looked green. I mean, it, it's it's a shame because it's lovely. Comes out lovely, goes on lovely, dries quickly, smells lovely, washes off easily. But, like I said, that... Obviously, sometimes do like to have the olive tone in, but it's just too strong. It's too much. But yes, um, this was on offer for three ninety nine. Um, just, just called tough stuff. Uh, a no nonsense three in one body scrub. So yeah, obviously it says prepares the skin for the cocoa brown tan. But I'll be putting this on, and then I'm gonna have a go with putting some of that on and see what colour I go. So yeah got them then I bought the Barry M brow kit shape and define because my friend has it and she waxed my eyebrows at the weekend I don't know if you can tell but they're a bit thinner now 
um, and she obviously I didn't take all my makeup over hers I just had some so I needed to redo my eyebrows and she had this and when I realised it was only barium I was like oh I need one so it's that in there and that's inside I'll just hold them so they don't fall out mini tweezers your brush you've got your wax your brow filler and oh no and your highlight and obviously a little mirror on there oh the tweezer and the brushes fell out I'll put them back in so that was only I've got this seat here which was it $5.99 so it's it's a good size and plus it'll fit nicely in your little handbag or whatever and there's what little diagram on the back there which I think helps with people who don't know how to use these or what goes where I suppose I think that's really helpful for people so yep and not meaning to stick with Barry M but I did actually pick up the sleek contour, contour kit Um, obviously that's £6.50 and then when I got the, to the tilt a day she should scan it through and then she went oh she went I should have told you um, the Barry M have got their contour kits on for 4 99 a day she said would you like one and they were literally right next to us I can't believe I missed them because if I'd seen I had a picture up and said oh can I have this one instead because it's all it's the same colours does the same stuff and I thought well for one fifty cheaper why not so I, she was nice and she swapped them for us so that's what this one looks like it's called the Chisel Cheeks Contour Kit. Nice tongue twister. And that's what it looks like. Obviously I haven't opened it yet. I haven't tried them. But I'm excited to try them. And again, I've got the little steps on to show you. So you know where you want to put what sort of thing. And yes, that's on off of £4.99 at the minute. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't know how much it is full price. I'm guessing maybe it's a little bit more since the eyebrow was £5.99. So... Yeah, five ninety nine super dog. Um, other than baby wipes, I think that's it for beauty products. Um, like I say, I'm keeping all my hair care stuff for me next video. Um, I'll move on to clothes. Well, um, should I start with clothes or should I start with clothes? I haven't got much. I've just got this top, which was from Primark. Just a white and black one. But it's that. There's a peplum at the bottom. Like so. It was only £8. But I really like it. Although I nearly ruined it because the first night I wore it. Went to a friend's birthday party. And I had a glass of rosy wine. I got a shock and I spilled some all down the side of us. And I was like, oh my god, I hope this comes out. But it did have it came out so... If not, I would have went and bought it again. I really liked it, but no, it's, it's came out. Um, then I have... Oh, I don't know how I'm going to show this. My birthday is next week. And obviously I needed a nice, pretty dress to go out with, with the girls. So, oh, it's, it's not this colour. Oh, ow. Oh. It's more of a, a burgundy red than this red, but... It's a maxi dress and it's got a slit up the side and it's got that little bubble on the front there and like, like that on the back just ties and it's got a bit this is really this is terrible to try and show this I'll try and put a picture somewhere sometime yes that it goes all the way to the bottom and it's from River Island it was it was £65 but I have got offline so it had 20% off so I got it for 52 I think. But yeah, like I say, it's not this red, it's more of a burgundy red. So, yes. Um, then to go with my dress, I bought some new shoes, which are just from Primark. I wasn't going to pay much for shoes because you just really get them. Not dirty but worn stuff, don't you? Um, they're not too high. Because I didn't want any high ones because obviously it's all, well, we're going out all day. So I didn't want high ones because that would be fit would be killing us. So I just got some simple chunky black 
ones from Primark. I thought, what well, better colour? Because I, I could, there was no way I'd find a, probably the correct red to match the dress, so I thought I'll just go black. So, yep, they were fourteen pound. I'll show both them if you can see. Yeah, nice suede. Yeah, and then if you get new shoes, you need to get a bag. Ta da! Again, this is just from Primark. Just a gold chain. This it goes like that, and then this open opens. Yes, goes quite big. I'll fit me me money, lipstick, keys, all the stuff in there. So and it's nice black coloured on the front, and that was. Seven, seven, yeah, seven. Um, that's it. I think that's the smallest one I've done yet. Um, so yeah, like I say, the next one will be my hair. All about my hair. I hope you can tell. Some people at work still haven't been able to tell, and I'm like, it's gone from red to brown. Like, how can you not tell? But obviously, people don't take much interest in your hair. Um, yeah, so like I say, hair video will be the next one and I'll chuck hair care treatments in there. How to keep my hair nice after dyeing it and not wrecking it. So, yeah, I'll please thumbs up if you like this one um, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!